right, welcome back for another video. I appreciate that you watch these. If uh, you want more of these, make sure you are subscribed to this YouTube channel. Um, horrific week for Oregon football. Obviously, didn't just lose to Washington, but got beat in historic fashion. A lot of questions about Mark Helfrich, and his athletic director, Rob Mullins, has already come out this week and kind of given him a vote of confidence, really just saying that, hey, we're frustrated. We hear the frustration, and uh, I stand by any embattled coach. Any coach who's uh, having difficulties, we stand by him. Well, again, I understand the frustration. Absolutely appreciate the, the passion. Um, we're six games into the season and not where anyone wants to be. Um, but there still is an opportunity, um, you know, to, to turn this a little bit and uh, start to see some positive results. And, you know, as I talked to the to Mark, um, and you know they go right back to work um, and, and get right back in it. We we, we have a, a a wonderful group of student athletes, um, and we need to do everything we can to support the coaches, the student athletes, especially the seniors, um, as, as they go this last go round. Um, he did that on a very safe pro university radio broadcast. Uh, Rob Mullins, the athletic director at Oregon, has since declined all other media interviews to talk about the topic, um, says he doesn't want to get in the, in the habit of having to come out every week and defend Mark Helfrich's job. So I think he picked a very safe forum and he said nothing. So if you're a Ducks fan, that's kind of a head scratcher to me. I was expecting a little more from Rob Mullins at Oregon. I think he could have gone stronger with either a huge vote of confidence that would have told recruits, hey, we're in this with Mark Helfrich. Uh, and he's our coach uh, for the foreseeable future and, and uh, next year and then a year after that. And we're in a relationship with him that extends through 2020. And he didn't say that. So if I'm Mark Helfrich, uh, I am a little nervous about that part of it. He also could have come out and said, look, um, he's not meeting expectations. And we're going to reevaluate this at the end of the season. I think that would have been a stronger statement from Rob Mullins at the University of Oregon. Uh, another byproduct of this Oregon losing streak, and again, they've lost four in a row. And Mark Helfrich not just losing games, but losing them badly. Uh, the scores, uh, the defense has been increasingly worse. This is a defense that gave up eight and a half yards per rush on second down to Washington. It's been absolutely atrocious. Uh, the bye week comes along and people are wondering, like, uh, is this a bad time for a bye week for the University of Oregon because they look like uh, they're ready to quit. I'll be really curious to see what they do when they get back in action against Cal on that Friday night game that's ahead of us. But a byproduct of all this Oregon losing has been something really interesting and something I didn't expect. I'm hearing from a lot of Oregon State fans and the Beavers coming off a big win, and I want to give the Beavers all the credit in the world, and Beavers fans are complaining that we're still continuing to talk about the Ducks, even though the Beavers won a football game and the Ducks lost. Uh, I guess that lends credence to the idea that, you know, people want to talk about a dumpster fire uh, versus a program that, that uh, has uh, shown a little bit of traction in the last week. But I'll tell Beaver fan this, like on the radio show, my email inbox, my Twitter feed, far more discussion about the Ducks. And what I'm hearing from Beaver fans is, is this little nuance. They wanted to be on the level of Oregon for all these years. I mean, it's been a while since, uh, you know, the, the Beavers have been on the Ducks level and, you know, even raised the question of who's the best college football program in the state. But they're on the, pretty much the same level right now. Uh, maybe Oregon State a little in front of Oregon. But the Beaver fans are saying, look, uh, we wanted this, but we would have rather had Oregon State rise up instead of Oregon sort of fall off and then they meet in the middle. I think that's an interesting distinction. And for people who have rooted against the Ducks and said that they're entitled and spoiled and they're bandwagon fans, all those things are probably true. But um, I think that there are a lot of outsiders and maybe even Oregon State fans who are looking over at Oregon and going, I kind of feel sorry and I have some empathy or sympathy for, for the fans at Oregon. So. Keep an eye on that as this develops. Mark Helfrich has six games left, six opportunities, I think, to save his job. I don't see it. I don't see any way that he wins more than two of those remaining six games. And I think that would be enough in the end for Oregon to seriously consider saying, look, we've got to move in another direction. But this, again, is a program that has a history of standing by coaches, maintaining, not firing people, and it'll be really interesting to see with the remaining about $10 million that, that are remaining on his contract, 
what Oregon would do with that at the end of this. Uh, but six opportunities left for Mark Helfrich, I think, to prove that he's got some traction moving into next season. Otherwise, uh, I think if I'm the University of Oregon, I'm going, is this the right guy? Do I believe that he can fix this better than anybody else? And, and currently, I don't think Mark Helfrich can fix this. But uh, I don't think there's any point either in firing him mid-season. So keep an eye on that. But for Beaver fan, I think this is a huge week because... Two weeks ago, you were looking at a loss to Colorado in which they showed no life. Gary Anderson, after that game, was so downtrodden, demoralized. Uh, and we came out of that game, and I said, Gary Anderson, you've got to go and get junior college players. And I wrote a column about it. I've talked to Anderson about it. I do think Oregon State is going to commit to junior college transfers. The December early signing period for JC players is going to be huge for Oregon State. Typically, inside the Pac-12, You've seen about 8 to 12 junior college signees per year. I think Oregon State is going to sign that many itself. I would expect that it's uh, a couple of defensive backs, a, a receiver, a couple of offensive linemen, a couple of pass rushers. I think they're going to go the junior college route all the way to try to get better. Because what I keep hearing is they're not very good, they're not very physical, they're not very fast, they're not very long, he has no length, no height. And so I think Gary Anderson uh, is going to try to get rich quick with the junior college players. And I've always said, there's two ways to get to the top of a tree, right? One is you can plant a seed and then sit on it. The second one is you can climb up the tree. I think Gary Anderson's going to climb the tree. I also think he's going to look in some unconventional places for players. I would expect that he'll look at uh, fifth-year graduate transfer seniors uh, and take advantage of that rule. And I don't think he'll just do it at the quarterback position, which I, you know, I don't know that that's where his focus needs to be, but I think he'll do it at other positions, maybe running back, maybe receiver. I think he's going to look for some opportunities to grab some kids. Should Mark Helfrich keep his job? Do you give him a vote of confidence? Comment below and tell me, do you buy what Mark Helfrich is selling? And if you're a Beaver fan, are you okay if Gary Anderson kind of goes the Dennis Erickson route and brings in eight, nine junior college players, somewhere in that area, and suddenly you look at a bunch of kids who are more talented, more mature, suddenly more physical. Are you okay with him taking that tactic? Comment below and tell me. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you're subscribed and you won't miss anything on these videos.